to install your guide on your machine, um, you'll get you need to get it square to in relation to your platen or your wheel. I do the platen, and it's been good enough for me that uh, when I square to the platen, that it's square enough to the wheel. So I make sure everything's tightened up, all the joints are tightened up. I get up here. An important thing before you get too far is to square it across this direction. Right through here and here to the side of your platen. If you're if it's tilted, if your guide is tilted one way or the other, that will mean that your knife blank will be tilted and that part of the knife blank will pass lower down the belt than the other part and you'll get uneven grind lines because just because it'll be down lower so one side will be passing higher than the other and you won't get an even grind line now on line just the way the relationship and everything is set up it was slightly lower on this side than it was on this side in relation to this when I set it up so you can either then square up your platen, but my platen is pretty square with the belt, so I left it. What I did instead was I loosened the guide. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right in there. There are two 4,000 thick shims that I put under the base of my guide on this side to raise this side up just slightly. And then I checked it again. And now it's on. So when it's up against the side of the platen. And this all depends, of course, on your platen being the side of your platen being flat or square. So you need to take those things into consideration. Well, that's the first thing that I do is square square it that direction. Next thing I did was I squared it in this direction. So that I know where. 90 degrees is. Once I had the platen square and the guide square to it, then I would put a flat plate across the front and I clamped it to there with a little clamp so that it just held in place. And then I would loosen these bolts and slide them up so that they were flat up against this. Both sides I would bring up. And that way this one, this one, and the platen formed a single flat plane across there. And that's, I would, and normally on, in my case, I never move these after I set them up. Um, very rarely will I ever move these. I use this one back here to adjust my thickness. And then I just push it in until it's flat against those two. Let me back this out for proper so what I'll do is I'll put the blank in, push it up so that it's tight against those, and then I'll tighten this down to the guide, and that sets the thickness that I want, whatever thickness that might be. That's the way I run mine. I've seen other guys that will leave this one fixed, and it's square, and then they start adjusting this one. So those are the basics of how I set up the guide on my machine.